Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Level 4, The Library of Evil for Zombie Army Trilogy. And yes, we do get all five gold bars, and we do show you where all four locations of the Red Bottles of Blood are as well. Now, if you're in a hurry, we do have quick links down below in the video description, so if you're only looking for gold bars, you can click those links. If you're only looking for bottles, go for the bottles. So, oh to the yeah, here we are. We're starting off in this subway area, kind of underground. We're going to stick to the right path here. Now, keep in mind, this has been sped up just a little bit, as well as we have gone ahead and cleared out all of the bad guys. As you can see, Boo is way ahead of me in the mission right now, and uh, that's because he was just slaughtering all these zombies that are on the floor here. So, special shout out, big thanks to Boo for taking care of that for me and as we get to the top and out of the subway there we find ourselves searching for the first red bottle which happens to be at the end of the street so you can see that the mission is over on the right hand side and we're actually going to go and kind of notice the alleyway that takes us there and bypass it and continue along the street here and uh, right up in front of us here there's a little uh, ledge of wood it's kind of a little platform and blammo red bottle of blood one is now destroyed so in that same kind of general area over here right under that there is a building we're gonna follow into the building wrap around into this room and guess what booyaka show gold bar number one so go ahead and swoop that up and if you look our count is right on and speaking of count let's go ahead and talk about that for a second now there is a future level coming up that as of this recording of this video there is a gold bar that will not spawn for anyone on either the xbox one or the ps4 platforms if you're watching pc you guys have no worries don't worry about it you guys will be good to go Ooh, look at that i shot boo right in the back uh, anyways uh basically we're gonna kind of put our series on hold once we get caught up to that level um, but uh, for now, we're going to keep on keeping on. So here we are after the first safe house. Right outside the safe house, there's this little lobby. Uh, and right behind the desk, there's a gold bar right next to a dead body on the floor. So make sure that you don't go up these stairs without grabbing that gold bar. And we do have a little bit of time in between that collectible and the next. So if you want to use one of the quick links, you're welcome to. But if you're following along just to see where we end up and how we got there, I don't blame you. That's why we left all this stuff in here. So... All right, all the way over across the top here. I'm kind of looking out the window, as you might notice, and that's because I'm kind of pointing out that you could actually take out the next red bottle from this location, from the top floor, from the next floor down, but Boo and I both felt that it was a little bit easier to see and hit from down here on the bottom floor. So up in the middle of the courtyard area, there is this big statue, and on kind of the middle left-hand side, you'll see the red bottle just chilling there. So destroy that bad boy and keep on keeping on. As you can see, we're going to make our way all the way down and across over to the right-hand side of the middle area and just to the east, if you're, I guess, assuming that north was the way we were looking, uh, over to the right-hand side, you can see another bottle of blood right above the entrance into the actual library. Now, keep in mind, there are a couple of emblems or crests that were needed in order to unlock doors and get, gain access to the rest of the mission. We didn't show that. We kind of thought about it. Maybe we should, but uh, this video is for collectibles, and you guys uh, pretty much know how to get through the levels, at least we're assuming. So that's the fourth red bottle of blood sitting up there. So all four bottles of blood have now been taken care of. There was a couple bingo bingo bongo right there huh and now we're going to double back and actually go across the courtyard and over on the left hand side building across from the library there's this long little hallway here and at the end of the hallway there is a nice shiny gold bar and you know that we love gold so we'll go ahead and pick that up and we'll make our way out the door right here so um over here in the back corner it's kind of actually where we started so uh, front right corner I guess or no actually this is back left corner my bad we did come back that's right so all right so across the courtyard from where we originally exited we're gonna go up the stairs and all the way up and around this is a big wrap around and this is for gold bar number four and we're gonna go all the way down into this next hallway and downstairs one floor and then wrap all the way down and guess what don't be fooled by the red room upstairs above us it's actually on the middle floor there so uh, oh, to the yeah, rewind it if you need it to follow that path, but uh, hopefully you're following along and had no troubles getting there. See, lots of places you could pop that red bottle out in the middle from. We could pop it from right here. Look at us doing a little dance here. Boo and I, you didn't know Boo and I took dance lessons, did you? We were just dancing a little jig there and going back and forth. We were just kind of lost for half a second there. So, moving along to the next safe house, we're going to go ahead and in and out the safe house. 
And uh, we're going to pop out. We're going to follow all the way to the end here. And the final gold bar is actually not accessible until you get into the final area of the level. I believe it's the final area. Um, it's been a day or two since I actually recorded this. So, But you're going to actually enter this room over here. And um, you're going to have to climb up and over. And then you're going to have to follow this until we actually get to the next safe house. That, that's what the next marker is for. Uh, so once we go into the safe house, we'll actually queue kind of that last mission area, um, and, and then we'll go in. So I, I was right. I had to I had to stop it and go look ahead. I don't know if you could tell or not, but I, I cheated a little bit. But uh, basically, uh, this is the last safe house in the level. And once you exit the safe house, there is another area that we have to go and unlock. Basically, we've been getting all these keys or crest pieces or whatever, and uh, and you'll see it right now. We're gonna head out and go to that uh, where that one bottle was earlier. And uh, we're going to go and drop it like it's hot. We're going to drop that uh, big old key on the front door, that is. And once we get inside, we're actually going to hightail it straight to the right. So um, there's a ton of zombies in here and uh, really not a whole lot we could do about it. So we go ahead and we open the door and we kill a few bad guys. And I immediately kick a few down. And uh, and then I hightail it over for the right-hand side. Oh, I guess I throw a granata too. Booyukashow, 12 for 1 granata kill. And then I kick a dude in the face and then I'm like, all right. Right side? All right, I'm out of here. So over on the right-hand side, in the back of the corner of the room, you can't really miss it unless you didn't go there. So, Booyukashow, 20 out of 75. So we're making pretty good ground. Watch out for that big guy there. A uh, little little tra uh, teaser trailer. I don't know what. It's been a rough morning, guys. Just, just forgive me on that. But uh, speaking of that, that's actually going to wrap up Zombie Army Trilogy, all collectibles for level four, where we found all five gold bars and all four red bottles of blood. Hopefully, you guys found this entertaining and uh, informational. And if you did, or just simply want to get involved in the conversation, head on over to our social pages, Facebook, Twitter. You can comment, vote, subscribe down below and of course we have a G plus Instagram and Twitch as well and we'd love to see you over at happythumbsgaming.com too which is the home of our product and gaming reviews and trophy achievement guide so I know a lot of you guys actually frequent our website and and are familiar with it and love it some of you have been following us for a year or two and still have no idea we actually have a real website too so most of it's just showcasing our videos but we do have some other information and um, articles reviews things like that they don't actually make it to our YouTube channel so if you're interested in things like that check us out if not then uh i guess don't worry about it but that's it so as always until next time ba -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba